Hello guys, so this is continuations of Selenium uh, interview questions and answers, right? So in last video, we were talking about the actions class methods. In this video, I will talk about the method description, right? So the first method was build method. So build what happens is generates a composite actions containing all the actions so far ready to be performed. Okay, so it's like whatever actions you have performed so far. Uh, whatever actions you have done so far you are going to perform now so when you call the build method on the actions reference it will do that so click this will click at the current mouse location so let's say you are already executing the test and you are at certain location so when you call the actions dot click it will click on that locations then there is overloaded method called click uh, based on the web element so this guy what it will do is it will click in the middle of a given web element click and hold so it will click without releasing at the current mouse location so it will just click on that and it will not release click and hold with the target so it clicks without releasing in the middle of given element context click it performs the context click at current mouse location so whatever current mouse locations you have on that it will do context click so context click uh, based on the target it will perform the context click based on the given target double click performs a double click at current mouse locations it does a double click at the current mouse locations double click based on the target it performs the double click at the middle of the given element drag drop basically what it will do is it will drag from the source at the end it will drop to the destinations now drag drop by offset so it will take the element which need to be dragged and it will drop to the based on the given coordinate x and y key down so key down performs a modified key press so whatever key press you do in the your system right same thing you can do through key down and you can supply the key like what key you want to perform the keys dot shift keys dot command keys dot control it's up to you again key down based on the target so based on certain target if you want to do key down you can go with that key down then key up key up basically performs a modifier key release so let's say your key is pressed and when you call key up on the target uh, it will release the key from there then again key up based on the target so again this does the same job but here it requires a web element target and on that target you can do that you know keys dot shift so whatever keys dot shift you have you are releasing up so you, you can call that key up then move to offset it moves the mouse from its current positions or 0 0 by the given offset so whatever offset will give uh, the x y coordinate it will move to that offset move to the element it will move to the given element whatever wave element you will give your mouse will move there then move to the element based on the target and the offset so whatever uh, target you will give based on the target uh, it will move and you can specify the coordinate also pause it will just uh, pause your uh, execution then pause you can supply the how long you want to pause perform so perform what it will do is uh, it will perform the actions without calling the build first so what is that let's say you have done certain set of actions now when you call perform perform will do all the actions which you performed release release the depressed left mouse depressed left mouse button at the current mouse locations so when we say release and whatever mouse was pressed it will release that mouse again we can do that release based on the web element target so from that target we can release that send keys we can send the keys to the active element and send keys based on the target and web element so we have send keys so here send keys actually you can send the keys like keys dot cancel keys dot command keys dot control you can send the keys like mouse key again send keys on that target you can do that you know a keys dot uh, let's say shift alt and delete so you can do that through that keys uh, uh, from that keys okay then the, you have something called tick so again it will take action as an argument and then tick interactions uh, it will take as an argument so with this we are done with the all actions class method so what you guys can do is you guys just try to remember some of the methods okay like move to element uh, 
track drop key up key down so these are the important methods okay you try to remember it people will ask you in the interview in third video i will start with some other interview questions and answers thank you guys thank you for watching this